last 14 days non-stop rains in Bengal city, especially in our Devanali Ashram, especially in the night, shocking in the month of May, we were expecting one or two rains, but once it started, it never stopped. And I, I went to Lakshmi English mother's funeral. In the rain from here, but in the city it was very, very sunny. Coming back to a massive traffic jam, and I, I was able to drive like that in between the smallest gap. I was able to squeeze in and jump. I saw a huge amount of cars standing in the queue, like good boys. And I thought I better be a bit little bad boy. And it took a week. I could overcome so many. Immediately I was thinking, if the mind is so much concentrated and in, ob and in observation position, the body finds the gap and it moves very fast. So the long practice of non-stop practice allows you, without the smallest accident, smallest touch, even then the smallest gap, when I pushed in, others gave me, pushed in, others, even the biggest lorries gave me, they did not want trouble. Such is the power of the practice, the biggest, toughest questions will give way for your answers. Hence, in the holiest of the holy books, they say, oceans will give way, mountains gives way when they walk in. Yes, and the kicks will fly. They said 500,000 times when you practice a kick, it strikes without thinking. You can see the, the leg, can see the gap, it seems. Yes, and it strikes it, and you get a knockdown because the leg and the hand flows. The amount of practice, continuous practice, without a single day break, not even on the seventh day. Oh, taking rest every day without a break. And he entered onto the tournament stage, on the stage, palm, the leg flies and you hit the target. Bhagavad Gita, the holiest of the holy books of the Hindu community. This is the 15, 15th quote. The happiness which comes from long practice, which leads to the end of suffering, which at first is like poison, but at last like nectar. This kind of happiness arises from the serenity of one's own mind. The happiness which comes from the long practice. This is where you cannot put the blame into the politician, into the doctors, or to any Tom, Dick and Harry. If you are a very good parent, it is your duty to make sure that you practice along with your children. Don't tell the children are tired and they have to sleep. One hit on the bum, boom, boom, they will get up from your childhood. Or when they grown up also, never mind. They must, a family who sits together, eats together. Early morning, putting the saliva into the eyes, drinking five glasses of water, brushing the teeth. Nostril blood, stomach pumping, sanuloma, viloma, cleaning the house, singing the bhajan together, lighting the lamp, and then looking into the Surya and doing the Surya Namaskar. Yes. If you have, the family has practiced that together, then all practice will be together. This a family which is together is very difficult to break. That happiness which comes from the long practice, the long practice which leads to the end of suffering, which at first is like poison. It looks like poison is painful. Even now, my, after my children leave the school and college when they go to the village or they marry and be with their husband, the first thing, I, if they send me a good morning message, I'll first thing ask Makale, that the children, my loving children, did you practice the Sanskrit? Without practice, they have no right even to send me good morning continuously, yes. And I've teach them that they have to teach the husband and their wife, whatever it is, comfort. Only after that they will cook. The house clean, cleaning is very, very important, this. And that practice will give them a long-standing power. 
non-stop practice. The happiness which comes from the long practice which relates to law is not a long practice, it becomes a way of life like how I started this Pravajana, this discourse. Today is 771st day without a break. It is possible. Wherever I am, I made sure I rush up to this studio to make sure that I do this recording. Or if there is a crowd, I go to the crowd. My camera team has to rush up there. And we do the recording every day without a fail. Yes. And you might be thinking from where the money is. I never looked at the money when I started the school with all the suffering. I embraced the suffering and the money f followed me. I did not follow. Funds followed me. I did not go behind the funds. Because people are thinking the funds are the cash. No, 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 no. I just embraced whatever people gave the old clues, the newspaper, the magazine, the kitchen, access food in functions, yes, anything, everything. Even they spit on me also, I embraced it up. They used paddling, I embraced They hit me, I embraced it up. That embrace allowed it to take the things forward. But at last, like nectar, Suffering, which at first looked like poison, but at last like suffering. They say the truth is bitter, but its fruits are sweet. It is like, like the practices like nectar. This kind of happiness arises from the serenity of one's own mind, the practice. And that happiness you cannot buy from the hotel, from the hospitals, from any department. Your happiness is beautiful because it will have a fixed deposit. And that fixed deposit is not for one year or two years. It, it stays for a thousand years of power, yes. And the sharing happens of its own. But being together with the family, yes. Loving the family, loving the wife and the husband and practicing with them and discussing. Not that you make the food and husband says no so salt or no, no, no. Husband and wife together enjoys that cooking of either food cooking or your love making cooking or whatever education cooking or your job cooking. But you discuss the pros, pros and cons. And that is every day, every day without a break. Yes. And every day making a call to your parents. Making a call to your gurus. Yes. That is the happiness. That is the thousand practices. And you find only happiness. Yes. And you find a left, right, front, back. Everybody is sharing. Yes. Do not forget that every day touching the book in the public in the holiday time also looking into the book as if it is a Bhagavad Gita, it is a, it's a holy book and reading, keeping in touch with what you study. And if you are given a bicycle, you make sure you clean the bicycle. Yes, you love the bicycle or the motorbike or the car. You move into the land and you hug and kiss the mud. Yes, roll in the mud. And plant plants and trees and look at the plant and trees. Don't think they are, they they do not know to talk back. It is the sound of the one hand clapping. They are talking when you are passing. Every tree is talking to you, telling good morning. And you neglect, like how you neglect your friends and the people. You see the people across you, you forget to tell good morning. How are you? Even though they can hear and they can understand the language. Talk to when the rain comes, talk to the rain. It's a beautiful rain. And you can see even in the drier season in the May, when it is hot everywhere, people are burning. Here it's pouring rain. Bhagavad Gita course. The happiness which comes from long practice, which leads to the end of suffering, which at first is like poison, but at last like nectar. This kind of happiness arises from the serenity of one's own mind without getting a whack from the seniors or the teachers or your parents, without a scolding, don't go to sleep because that scolding is nectar. It looks like pain. No pain, no gain.